way yes. better than stretching. And this is for mid back pain or problems. Kind of so, between the shoulder blade. Yeah. We're, 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 we're concerned about this area here that the rib cage is sure. attached to. Yep. So from here all the way down to here. And Let me get this nerve out because of the, the rib cage is there, it makes this very stiff and difficult to stretch. Mm, so, Because yeah, there's joints here, quite a few joints yeah. at each level with the ribs. So we apply pressure directly to these areas through, you know, focus pressure, like mm. through a ball, and that helps loosen those areas up. Sure. When I stretch that, see where all the stretching is occurring? It's right, occurring right on the thin part of the, the band. So I think you were saying, so this represents like a muscle, well, so, this whole thing is a muscle. So this is the thick part of the muscle? The thick part of the muscle or the part of the muscle that might be adhesed down. Okay. It might be might be scar tissue, trigger points, whatever. The the muscle stretch is not uh, occurring equally among the entire muscle. Right. So and, we, we want to get at the tight spot. Right, a tight spot. So in order to get at this tight spot, we're actually going to put pressure right on this. Mm. We can actually go right down the spine in the mid mid thoracic area here in the mid back. And we keep one ball is on each side of the spine, You're putting pressure right on area, and you're just sitting there and letting that pressure take hold. So static pressure, static not, pressure. not moving, just right on there. And you know, I've actually felt this myself, where the muscle actually releases kind of release that after a tight while. spot, and it's like, oh, hurts for a little bit, but after about twenty seconds or so, it releases. So you're looking for the tight portions of muscle, the ones that are tender. If it's not, you probably don't need to do this. Sure. I mean, it's probably not, not necessary. The other thing he, is he calls it the pressure wave. And that's where you take like a ball like this and you maybe roll on it a little bit. Yeah. Um, the, the, like a pressure wave, you know, the wave. Goes yeah. And just stretch back yeah. and breathe. I like this one, Brad, for starting. Uh, if you know what I mean, it's yeah. not very aggressive. Almost every, everybody can do it just yeah. about. Yeah, you, uh, you, you don't have to right. go on the floor right. like you do. You, know, you, can't, you can't use these smaller balls on a bed. No, it's no. not going to be a, uh, practical. Now, these can be a pretty aggressive. I mean, so you have to be warm. Yeah. One side and, you know, find a spot and just lie on there. Or you can roll along on there and work it out. Now, if that is too aggressive to you, you can use the towel or Brad. You can show it on the wall. Oh, true. And I'm on the right side of my spine right now, and I'm eh, I'm going to drop down, right? Usually I got one right right in there. Yep. If I had one ball, I'd be able to roll a little easier. Um, Again, this is not full pressure, so it's a little bit easier for the beginner. Yes. You so, could put a lacrosse ball, I suppose, in the socket. Yeah, it would be a little more aggressive.